I set out on a journey to produce my first ever horror feature film. <laughs> Which was released in 2020. Nobody saw it. I had this big panic like, is my career over now? Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> gotcha. It's really soul crushing to finally make it through all the obstacles. It's only to be told. Yeah, like it's gonna be an online premiere. You're gonna, you're gonna do your your red carpet interview over Zoom. We were like, okay, well, we got into the festival. Surely, you know, we're gonna be able to sell this thing, right? Nope, nope, nope. It went into theaters and then got pulled from theaters that same very same day. So it screened two screenings across Canada. We took in a total of twenty five hundred bucks. Well, 2,500 bucks adds up to about 208 tickets sold. And like, I was one of them. <laughs> to say that sucked would probably put that into the category of one of the biggest disappointments of my entire life. After, you know, bringing people coffee for a number of years, being the person who works 18 hours a day on a movie set, you know, no breaks, probably eating a little bit too much candy to keep myself awake. And then you finally get to the part where you get to make the movie. That's really, really hard. To say it wasn't hard would be an understatement. We've all been under a tremendous amount of stress lately. And then the movie disappeared into oblivion. There's something wrong with him. Why? Well, Netflix didn't pick it up. Neither did Amazon, Apple TV, or any other major streamer. Once they passed, they passed, and that was it. They weren't gonna watch it again. Please don't leave me! So we ended up in that little sphere of films that just never got to see the, the light of day. So I guess my proposal here is knowing that my career is obviously not over and that was a very like sort of dramatic reaction what's next so like how do you kind of claw back some of that money and i guess we're gonna we're gonna try and figure that out on this channel like is there something that i can do later down the road can we try and sell it again can we try and sell merchandise for it how do we make that money back we're gonna talk about mindset on this channel we're going to talk about money on this channel we're going to talk about making movies and what those two things have to do with making movies and then we're going to make some movies maybe if you have something that you need to add to your list of of scary movies to watch i have a recommendation for you <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's be friends.